Hello, you are welcome to ME160 Engineering Drawing Part 6 Development 4 4.1-3 Development Part 4 Learning Objectives 1. To be able to demonstrate the intersection between a line and a line and between a line and a plane. 6.4 Intersection An intersection is the point, line or curve where two geometric forms, either being lines, surfaces or objects, meet or cross each other. The result of the intersection created depends on the form of the geometric feature. 6.4.1 Intersection of a line and a line Two lines that intersect share a common point in all views. Take a look at a line 1, 2 and AB that meets at point 3 on 1, 2 and point C on AB. When you project from above, then you have the various views given AB and line 1, 2. Looking at the intersection, apparent intersection point from the front view and projecting down, you still have where they meet 3, they meet on 3 on 1, 2, and then AB on C. So the two points still coincide. Let's take a projection from the left side and here we have our line AB and the other line 1, 2. Now looking at the intersection point again, here you have point C and 3 still coinciding. Therefore, the lines 1 and 1 and 2 and, and A and B do intersect. Let us look at visibility of overlapping of lines where they do not intersect. Two lines that overlap apparently appear to intersect at that point in the view. Portion of a line at the apparent intersection points may not be visible in a particular view. Overlapping of lines. Two lines overlapping appear to intersect at a point. Here you have the line again, the lines again, 1, 2, and A, B, apparently in the other view shown. That means we have the front view and the top view. The apparent intersection point, 3 on 1, 2, from the front view and C appear to coincide over there. Now let us have a projection downwards to find these two points. Now taking the line AB projected down, we meet C, which now is different from the point 3. They do not coincide. Therefore, we say this Two view, these two lines overlap, they do not intersect. Now again, let's take note for the top view. Now we have the front part of the top view and we have the back of the top view. So, and we have also the left of the top view as well as the right of the top view. Now, when we look at our points C and 3, then from the top view, we will see the point 3 is in front of the point C. Therefore, the point 3 in the front view is going to be visible in the front view, whereas the other point C will not be visible. So 3 is going to be visible 
and C is not going to be visible. So the two lines overlap. Let us look again at the apparent intersection point 4 and T from the top view. Now, over there, the two lines again appear to intersect at point 4 on 1, 2, and D on A, B. On projecting backwards to the front view, upwards to the front view, then we meet the point C, sorry, D on A, B, and then 4 at the other side, 4 on 1, 2. Now, what when we look at the orientation, the position of the front view, then we could identify the bottom. Then we can also identify the top of the front view. We can also identify the left of the front view, as well as the right of the front view. Now, if we look at the front view, then clearly 4 is on top of D. 4 is on top of D. Therefore, on the top view, the point 4, which is on line AB, will be visible, and the point D, which is on line AB, will not be visible. So, the point 4 is visible on top view. Generally, when we look at the projection, the first point you meet along that projection line of the apparent point is not visible. So if we take the point as the front view and look at the apparent intersection point 3C and we project onto the top view, the first point we meet is C. Therefore, C is not visible. Now, if we go to the top view and look at the apparent intersection points, that is 4 and D, and we project it back onto the front view, the first point we meet is D. So D is not visible. Example. Here we have two lines, 1, 2, and A, B. Now we have a projection which is also giving us a b and one two now apparently from the first view given the two lines tend to intersect appear to intersect at three c now let us look at the projection that will bring us to the other view in that direction then on projecting from that apparent intersection point, the first point we meet is the point C. Therefore, the point C is not visible from the front view and therefore is below the point 3. Now, if we look at the apparent point of 4D on the other view, they appear to intersect, and if we project them backwards, then the first point we meet is D. Therefore, D is not visible from that apparent intersection point, and the other point three is going to be vis four is going to be visible. Thank you. End of section four one.